So your AVG antivirus software keeps detecting uh, this generic underscore R as a virus and you cannot remove it. I'm going to show you how to remove it. It's quite easy. What you need to do is a system restore back to a particular point in time. Basically, when you go back in time, the particular date you choose and everything forward, all the programs will be deleted. All of your personal files and your videos and photos, of course, will still be intact. It'll still be on your computer. Only the programs will be long gone. And I'm going to show you how to do it in Windows 8 as well as in Windows 7 and prior. So let's get started. Okay, so how do you access the system uh, restore in Windows 8 or 8.1 and above? What you simply do, several ways to do it, but here's one of the ways you can, on the uh, bottom left hand corner here, you want to right click and you want to go to search. Once I click on search, you'll see on the right hand side, this will pop up. Another way to find a search is, uh, let's say you're on the, uh, the smart screen here, and it's simply here in the top right hand corner magnifying glass click on search and then what we're just going to type in is uh, let's just type in restore and you can see the first option here says create a restore point we're going to click on that of course we're not creating a restore point we want to go to a restore point but we can still access it from here and once you go here this window will pop up system properties and it'll be system restore click on system restore and then this will pop up now the same thing on Windows um, 8 and prior what you can do is you can click on the start menu down here and then in a run area here just type in same thing type in restore restore and then this will pop up and here you can just click on system restore and the same menu will pop up restore system files and settings same thing on windows 8 and above so what you do from here is you click on next and then here you have restore points obviously you want to go to a restore point the date you encountered the, the bad program. Um, if you don't have anything in here, what you want to do, or if you don't have a lot in here, we can do is click on the show more restore points. And hopefully you have some in here. I mean, if you don't, then you're going to have to find another way to get, to get rid of that uh, hijacker or virus. And um, so yeah, from here, you just um, highlight which date you think um, was before uh, before you encountered that that particular issue with your computer and you click on next and you just follow the prompts from there and don't forget uh, once you um, uh, actually when your computer actually starts restoring it it cannot be interrupted so make sure you're if you have if you're running on a laptop make sure it's plugged in and then uh, click on yes and you follow the prompts from there thanks if you guys have any questions or any issues or need more assistance uh, comment below if this doesn't get rid of your issue uh, there's like seven other ways, maybe ten other ways that I can think of that you can do it. But this is one of the most easiest. Uh, like I said, uh, you don't have to go into the registry. You don't have to download more antivirus programs or adware programs or, or Spy Hunter or any of that and where they put more stuff onto your computer. So that's it. Thanks. Bye. Okay, so how do you access the system uh, restore in Windows 8? Or 8.1 and above? What you simply do, several ways to do it, but here's one of the ways you can... On the uh, bottom left hand corner here, you want to right click and you want to go to search. Once I click on search, you'll see on the right hand side, this will pop up. Another way to find a search is, uh, let's say you're on the, uh, the smart screen here, and it's simply here in the top right hand corner, the magnifying glass, click on search. And then what we're just going to type in is, uh, let's just type in restore. And you can see the first option here says create a restore point. We're going to click on that. Of course, we're not creating a restore point. We want to go to a restore point, but we can still access it from here. And once you go here, this window will pop up system properties, and it'll be system restore. Click on system restore, and then this will pop up. Now, the same thing on Windows um, 8 and prior. What you can do is you can click on the start menu down here, and then in a run area here, just type in same thing. Type in restore restore and then this will pop up and here you can just click on system restore and the same menu will pop up restore system files and settings same thing on Windows 8 and above so what you do from here is you click on next and then here you have restore points obviously you want to go to a restore point 
the date you encountered the, the bad program. Um, if you don't have anything in here, what you want to do, or if you don't have a lot in here, we can do is click on the show more restore points. And hopefully you have some in here. I mean, if you don't, then you're going to have to find another way to get to get rid of that uh, hijacker or virus. And um, so yeah, from here you just uh, highlight which date you think um, was bef uh, before you encountered that that particular issue with your computer, and you click on next, and you just follow the prompts from there. And don't forget uh, once you. Uh, uh, actually, when your computer actually starts restoring it, it cannot be interrupted. So make sure you're, if you have it running on a laptop, make sure it's plugged in. And then uh, click on yes and you follow the prompts from there. Thanks. If you guys have any questions or any issues or need more assistance, uh, comment below. If this doesn't get rid of your issue, uh, there's like seven other ways, maybe ten other ways that I can think of that you can do it. But this is one of the most easiest. Uh, like I said, uh, you don't have to go into the registry. You don't have to download more antivirus programs or adware programs or, or spy hunter or any of that and where they put more stuff onto your computer so that's it thanks bye